multi-plate clutch. Adding plates to a clutch unit to form a multi-plate clutch will increase its torque capacity without increasing spring strength or clutch diameter. This clutch assembly has three clutch plates with friction material riveted to both sides of each. An internally splined hub on each clutch plate mates with the splines on the clutch shaft. A cast iron separator plate fits between each clutch plate. This friction unit, that is clutch plate, is between the flywheel and the pressure plate when the pressure plate assembly is bolted to the flywheel. A pressure plate assembly consisting of a steel cover, a pressure plate and a segmented diaphragm spring and a release bearing and operating fork. The clamping force on the friction facings is provided by the diaphragm spring. When removed, diaphragm spring looks as dish shaped. As the pressure plate covers tightens, diaphragm spring flattens out to exert a force on the pressure plate and the clutch plate. Now, as we can see, clutch plate is engaged with the flywheel and torque is transmitted from the flywheel through the friction facings, that is clutch plates, to the transmission input shaft, that is clutch shaft. Hence, rear wheel of the car also rotates. When the clutch paddle is pressed, the release bearing acts on the pressure plate diaphragm and moves the pressure plate away from the flywheel. This releases the clamping force on the facings and separator plate and allows flywheel to rotate freely without turning the clutch shaft. Now, the clutch plate disengages with the flywheel and drive is no longer transmitted. When the pedal is released, the spring tension forces the pressure plate, clutch plates and separator plates against the flywheel, clamping all components together.